Hello again, this is UML Operator. In our last session, we took the Sparks Systems default layout and we created our own customized default layout that has toolbox pinned over, uh, hidden over on the other side, let me unpin it, to allow us to have a toolbox available for us to work in our diagram in the work area. So before we start, let's level set on tools versus feature. A tool refers to a platform or solution to a problem and contains the thing or things which perform, performs a specific action, while a feature is a unit of functionality that satisfies the requirement or problem to be solved. Thus, when we're saying tooling and features, understanding what those things are, especially in a UI or user interface layout, are important to performing the task. The old saying, there is more than one way to skin something, applies to user interface, user experience, and system design. We will take the basic approach first in this video and expand more in future videos of the tooling and features in Sparks. So be sure to follow the channel to get notifications on when those videos are published. More importantly, leave comments to help progress our content. All right, so let's load our demo project out of recent got it loaded why not let's load a diagram so we have a diagram we're in the default layout we're going to go to quick access bar and user layouts you can see we now have five layouts we did in the last session my default layout and no ribbon layout so we're going to select my default layout and it's loading that layout with toolbox over on the left side of the browser and then to the right side of the browser is the work area. And then we have properties and notes. So right now we've got a lot of tools that are available to us to start modeling or drawing. We've got our toolbox now that allows us to bring in other elements, name them anything we want. We're able to draw associations this way, or let me delete this. Yes, the dialog box, we'll talk about that later. I could use class relationships. I could select this and draw that lines this way within our space. So we've got toolbox as a tool. We've got a bunch of ribbons, tabs, as tools that are available to, for us to start modeling. We've got a browser to move between our various packages within our project. Of course, we've got the work area itself. We've got the start page. We can launch other projects and do other things. We've got properties over here. So we're able to look at the properties of various elements, diagrams, or packages to give us an idea of the metadata relevant, manage that metadata. Um, and then we have notes. So we've got notes at the diagram level, type as much as you want. We've got notes in the element level. We have notes at the association or line level. Um, you can double click on any item. You can open up the dialog box and type as much notes as you want. Uh, within the dialog boxes relevant to each. I can double click in the uh, diagram itself, bring up the diagram context, allows us to do a lot of different things. So tons of tools to get used to, but we want more. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is configure my workspace to work best for me. You can do and lay out your workspace any way you want. So what I'm gonna do is grab the browser move it, drag and drop it, hold down the left mouse button. I am going to put it over on the right side and I'm gonna drop it right on this upper right window. So I'm gonna let go. And now you can see the browser is to right of the properties tab and expector, which was in browser originally is to right of that. But I want properties down in the lower right. So I'm gonna left click on properties, hold down the mouse button drag it into this window, let go of the mouse button. And now I have notes and I have properties and I have browser up in the right. And I have my toolbox over on the left and I have a much larger work area for modeling. But wait, there's more. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring in some other tooling that we want to use. So we can either go to through all of these all windows groups and pick things that we want. Like for instance, we brought in the toolbox, but we, we might wanna bring in explore trace for traceability. 
Now, this, you can see it popped up on the right, upper right side where I put the browser. This may pop up anywhere for you, down at the bottom. It could pop up in the middle just as a floating uh, window. It could pop up anywhere. But where I like traceability is in the lower right. So I'm going to hold down the mouse button. You can see I have lots of places I can drag and drop it. I like to have it in the lower right. And I'm going to let go. Now you can see traceability is to the right of properties. Now the traceability tool, again, has lots of tools inside. We'll, we'll dive more deeper into those tools later sessions. But what you can do is when you select an item, it tells you what it's relevant to, what it's traced to, even what that relevance is. In this case, we're using aggregation and we are seeing that application one is part of class one because the open diagram is on class one. And when I click on class one, you can see that class one is associated. This is an associated uh, so a line. I'm just going to call it that for now. And it, it's composed of application one. So traceability is extremely powerful as well. Let's bring in one more tool that I believe is essential for the work that I do. So I am going to go to layout and over in tools, there's pan and zoom. I'm going to go ahead and select it. Pan and zoom popped up for me over in the upper right hand side for various reasons. I constantly have it there so it remembers. It may be in the middle for you or in other places, but I like to have pan and zoom over in the upper right hand window. And I can move it anywhere I want. Now, pan and zoom is critical, especially when you get into larger models. You know, you might be in a very large model and you want to move around. You might be in a presentation where you want to move around the model as you're talking with your audience. So pan and zoom is a, another important tool that you're going to want to make available for you. So we added these tools to our new default layout. Um, common layout is what I'm going to call it when we go to name it. And we dragged and dropped tooling into other windows. These tabs now, you can move anywhere you want. Like if you wanted pan and zoom to the right of browser, I'm just holding down the mouse button, dragging it to the left of the inspector tag and letting go. Same with traceability. If I want it to the left of properties, hold down the mouse button, drag and drop it where you want it. I like it over here, so I'm going to move it to the right. All right, so let's save our new layout. So we're going to go to Start. We're going to go to Workspaces. We're going to go to My Workspaces. And we're going to bring up this dialog box. I'm going to replace Common. First thing I want to do is I'm going to create a copy of common and I'm going to say copy. I'm going to take the default name. I can give it any name I want. And now I've got a copy of common. I can come back and delete it later on if I want to. So I'm going to delete common and I'm going to create a new and I'm going to call it common. This is just my common workspace and give it any name you want. And I'm going to hit save. All right. So now um, regardless of this diagram, let's go ahead and save this diagram and close it. Um, I was on pan and zoom. I wanted to show that and I'm on traceability. I wanted to show that. So pay attention. We're going to go to quick access. We're going to, we see the copy of common. We see common. We're going to collect it. When it comes up during our test here, it is, let me go to default. I got to show this a little slower to you. Let's just go to default, go all the way back to the factory default setting. And there we go. So this is the default setting, right? So we're going to go to quick access, common. And you're going to see when we saved it, there we go. It remembered it was on pan and zoom and it remembered it was on traceability. That's not what I want when I load it. I want it on browser by default when I load this. And I want it on notes, right? So don't have a diagram. I'm not worried about it. Let's save it again. So hit quick access. We're going to go to my workspaces. We're going to delete this common. Delete. And we're going to create a new. 
common, right? And I can give it any name I want. I'm just going to hit save, right? Let's do a test again. So we go to test. I mean, we go to default. We load the default layout. Then we go back to quick access. We go to common. Now when it loads, when we saved it, it knows that, hey, I want to be on the browser. I want to be on notes when this loads. I have all these other tools I can get to, but when I load this workspace, I want it to be on the tooling and the features I require for the work that I want to do. As far as toolbox goes, it's just going to have toolbox up. If I was on another type of diagram, I don't know, test, or this is a component diagram, and I was to load the common again, I'm just going to reload it. It just knows to have toolbox up. It's not going to know what diagram you had up the last time. It's just going to have toolbox up. So I hope that makes sense. Play around, get a hang for this yourself. Create some workspaces that work for you. You can always delete them. You make copies of them, whatever you want to do. So have some fun. Okay, so let's recap. In this session, we've talked about tools versus features. We chose a custom layout to work with, start with. We talked about the current tooling within that layout. We configured more tooling into that layout and we saved our new custom workspace. Then we replaced the custom workspace after testing to make sure it was tuned the way we want it when it loaded. I hope this session was helpful for you. Please leave comments below, good or bad. I need your feedback to help us work together as we progress in Sparks Enterprise Architect. In the next session, I'm going to talk about appearance. In the Start tab, there's Appearance. We're going to talk about preferences, visual style, and more. So I look forward to talking to you then. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.